good new shows. There was a cartoon. I don't know what's going on at the Comedy Central Channel or something. There was some good new cartoons out. You watching cartoons? Well, no, but I wish I knew which ones they were. I've got reviews of good TV shows. Yeah. You know, one of them. There's a few, a couple of the cartoons like Com Com Comedy Central or it's some cartoons know, from you know, some uh, hard edge ones. No, no, some hard edge ones. You know, like Archie, things like. I mean, I know Archie. Mm -hmm. but, you know, some of the harder edge cartoons that you can there. Uh, adult ones, more like. You ever watch Adult Swim? Yeah, you know, you know I know about it. I kind of keep hearing about it though. Yeah. <laughs> Just well, help wanted picture. there. Do you want to go in and become a barista? What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I wonder who's anybody leaving or is it? Oh, Are you ready to sling some coffee? Yeah. I know. I'm going to make you tea. <laughs> well, maybe they'll have a tea room for you. That could be a English be, tea I, room. I can do it in right. teapots. I mean, like we do in England. Get a little teapot. Oh, you little bugger. Yeah, that'd be... You get bit. No, well, I just put my finger in somebody's mouth. I was going to food it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing you're a math teacher, though you don't have to become a bartender or a barista. Yeah, extra money. It's yeah. fun, it might be fun, though. Yeah, you should do it a little now and then. Yeah. Ah. Bartending or barista? Yeah. How about starting a horse ranch? <laughs> that old caddy land. So what do you want to talk about? I don't know, today. I thought it was going to happen, it's clouded over, but uh, the good weather in the next two days. How about that? Oh. I was watching, there was a good day. Oh, here we go. I got to, um, no, actually, funny enough, it was just, uh, I just drifted on to how they haven't actually made record LPs, you know, the old, you know, the old production process of uh, how they were from scratch. It was really good. That was interesting. What can you tell me about doing well, that? Because no, they, they have to make like a, an aluminium, it's like the, 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 the poster, you know. It's like a proper aluminium with all the grooves in it. and. Uh, it's funny how they make it, you know, they've got the um, the master tape there and obviously they, they put the, the, the machine over the aluminium I guess it's like it's plain it, but it's actually not plain it, it's putting the grooves in, you know so as, as they've got the master tape going, it's obviously going through this head which is cutting the grooves and um, Where did you learn this? On YouTube Really? So, um, you could yeah. be a professor of YouTube So they did this um, yeah, then I think what they did, then it got coated in lacquer, but it was like it was, um, I can't remember. They, it was just the master stamp that they used. You know, polished it and everything, it was really, enough to get perfect coat to do all the, all the ones from it. Um, but yeah, but then again, you're talking about the whole thing about, you know, think about the uh, animal recordings, how they have to, they, you, you can't have that much bass on an LP because of the grooves and everything, you know, it really, you know, the whole thing, like needle flying out of the thing. Yeah, so I have to. I never, never love that. Even though we talked about the good sound of LP over CDs, but LPs are limited in how much bass because of that limitation. And we all know it's all about the bass. Yeah, all the grooves or something. Yeah. So yeah, they were talking about that as well. How they had to uh, master it when they're pre pressing the uh, the master of the LP. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else did you learn about making LPs? LP it was wanted. Like, it was like Twelve minute little documentary on YouTube. It was good. Who made it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, what if the company was him? It was like a yeah. So I don't know if the you should was. look up Jack White because he has. A... We were talking about that Lazaretto. He's um. We were talking about that, that, and the so last year it was that his, his Jack White's album and the Pink Floyd album, the two that had huge. You know, a third of Jack White's were all on vinyl. A third of his sales last year. Was on vinyl. vinyl. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. What's that? Out of like 150,000 he sold, 50,000, yeah, were actually all LPs. And I think all he made all those recordings right there in his own studio. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to push the LPs. Yeah. And he's an excellent musician. Uh -huh. What kind of guy is he like? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Can't tell? I've never, really, I've never really seen that much in interviews. Mm -hmm. But like I say, that and the latest, the Pink Floyd that was released last year was uh, two huge LP sellers. Anybody coming to Red Rocks you want to go see? I mean, Brit Floyd, of course, I might get the Brit Floyd. I've got, I've got my tickets for oh, Rush. You know, I'm going to see Rush. I've just got my tickets. That's Pepsi Center. Pepsi Center, yeah. But I mean, so I, mean, I thought, well, I may as well get Rush on the 40th anniversary. I may as well do it again. Um, but I suppose Brit, you know, there's Brit Floyd again in June at uh, Red Rocks. Now, wait a minute. These Canadian groups are important. Uh, I talk no. to a lot of Canadians now. Yeah? Yeah. What do you have to say to Geddy Lee? Or Neil Peart? I don't know. Love them. A great, great Look great right guys. into the camera and Nick, say, well, Rush. Alex, Alex Lyson, Geddy Lee, Neil Peart. These guys have been in the business since, you know, early 70s. Yeah. They're masters. After, you know, they're, they're, good, they're good guys as well. They're all fun, you know, and kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know, just Neil Perch writing. I, I didn't realize he'd written a science fiction novel, and mm -hmm. his, his second one's coming out this year, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but just uh, everything, yeah, I don't know. They're just, 
puncher, you know, they keep making the music. Like the only time you think about it after the past 40, well, this is still kind of, nothing's changed, it's still going really strong, you know? Yeah. Uh, There's something about Canadian musicians, they have longevity. Uh, Neil Young's still going, Joni Mitchell's still going, Bruce Coburn's right. still going, Gordon Lightfoot's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember, of course, the days of Triumph. It was always Rush and Triumph. In the 70s, they were the other tri tri three piece. Mm -hmm. It was Rush, it was Triumph. Very similar. They were good, but I can't remember what to those guys. Well, here comes a helicopter. I'm going to have to sign out. Uh -huh. <laughs>